just two normal guys that started talking movies on YouTube and failed a bunch of times, and then at some point in time, something clicked, and both of us have turned it into a career. I put up my first movie webpage back in 1998. Yeah, that's, that's insane, 1998. I was three years old, Sean, when you were starting out. That is crazy. I just wanna say thank you for inviting me here, Sean, and it is possible. Once again, thank you so much for showing up today. There's another panel going on right now with Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman since I was in the fifth grade, and he's still voicing Batman and you guys chose to be here and listen to us talk rather than that amazing voice of Batman. And I'm very appreciative of that. And hopefully uh, we can say a few things that are helpful for you. If you don't know, my name is Sean Chandler. I have a YouTube channel called Sean Chandler Talks About. This is 3C Films. I also have a YouTube channel where I talk all movies. And essentially we're just two normal guys that started talking movies on YouTube about five years ago as a hobby and failed a bunch of times, and then at some point in time, something clicked, and it took off, and both of us have turned it into a career. In, in the case for me, I put up my first movie web page back in 1998. It was a Jackie Chan fan page that you could like click on parts of his body to see in which movie he injured that body part. It was kind of clever, kind of creepy at the exact same time. But this is the 90s, so it even had the, like the counter in the bottom right corner so you could see exactly how many people had viewed it. And it was it just almost made it to a thousand and the whole time I ran it. And that was 990 times of me and 10 times of my mother refreshing the webpage. I mean, it went nowhere and then I stopped doing it. And throughout the years, I had blogs. I started on YouTube back actually in 2013, and I didn't stick with it. And I started back up again six months later, and I didn't stick with it. And then in summer of 2016, that new Ghostbusters movie came out that the entire internet only had <laughs> rabid opinions on. Like, if you don't like this movie, it's because you're a sexist. If you like this movie, it's because you're a moron. Everyone kind of had these extreme opinions about it. And so I thought I was like, oh, I was fine. And just on a whim, decided to post a review on this dormant channel. Little did I know it was going to change the trajectory of my life and lead to a new career. And it didn't happen immediately. It's not like that review took off or any of the other videos I posted in the next six months took off. But eventually, about nine months in, I started to piece a few things together and learn just a little bit. And eventually, it started to grow. And there were principles that are applicable to other people. And along those same lines, Chris, if you want to share your story real quick. Yeah, that's, that's insane. 1998. I was three years old, Sean, when you were starting out. That is crazy. I No different than Sean. I didn't have any fabulous background or anything. Um, my father and I immigrated into this country from Mexico. And the first job my dad could get was Blockbuster. And if anybody remembers the days of Blockbuster, that was a heavenly time to be. So my father was coming home every day with VHS tapes, because that's what they had at the time. And he was just introducing me to movie after movie, Indiana Jones, Rocky, and Back to the Future, my favorite movie. And that passion grew, you know, when I was a kid. And I went through the phases of like, all right, I'm gonna get into Hollywood. I'm gonna be that guy. I don't care if I'm from Texas right now. I'm gonna make my way to California. I'm gonna be like Jim Carrey. I wanna be funny. I wanna be the guy who makes everyone laugh. You realize you can't be Jim Carrey. No one is Jim Carrey. So then you're like, okay, I'll be the guy who writes the movies. I'll, I can write that and I'll make someone else the Jim Carrey. I was failing a lot of my English classes growing up, so I wasn't really going to be able to write the movies. I went to director. Bench basically went all the way down the list till it became, I'll just film myself talking about movies. And it happened. I, I was able to make a career out of it. I am happy to meet people like Sean right here and so many other wonderful people. So I just want to say thank you for inviting me here, Sean, and it is possible.